is going to grab you, you get the F out of it. There's no reason to engage in a boxing zone with a guy who has a saber tooth in his hand. This isn't even fight. If I see him reaching to attach me, I get out of there. If I see the knife early and I gotta defend, or I'm like backing up and all my, my back at the wall or the racks of the pretzels in the place, whatever. Oh, and here, I gotta go. He starts to swing, I jam into him. Now look, I didn't go to the, some of you guys are going to try to meet it. You're not Jackie Chan. You will F up. When you see a knife, you will get an adrenaline dump. Your depth perception is gonna be a little off. You're gonna be, oh my God, I can't believe it's happening to me. Ah, you better act. So don't try to like, oh, cool, man. I'm gonna do this cool thing. No, this covers a whole big range. And I'm jabbing in him. Boom, and if I got to push my head as I'm passing. Boom, boom. See that? I'm going in, just like I said. The head and our elbow spear, you're driving into him. Kabish? Other, for those who cover your main stuff, other position that needs to be drilled is baseball man. And when you go with hard pressure drilling us up against 6'4", 265, I did this once, but it didn't keep connection. It came hard and it rebounded. So he came come this way, and it rebounded. Shoom! And I'm here again. Boom! And then I kind of ended up here, baseball bat. So we have to practice from baseball bat. So I don't want to stay here and be stronger than me. I don't want to do bicep, tricep against his bicep, because he might be small against big. I'm going to extend out and be out here. Okay? Because he's going to be here. When he's starting to swing, I don't want to fight with muscle. If I bend, he can pump me. Try and get it. Now try and get it. Extend structurally extension. No bend in the elbow. Okay? If that's where I was, you gotta have sensitivity training we started with. I could be here and maybe I pass right away because I'm a lucky double. I might need to drive in him and take this hand back. And now bite him, headbutt him. I might work a knee in. So driving again. I might drive in, and as I get pressure back, I dink him to the ground. Okay? Action, reaction. We did that earlier. Principles are how you fight, not set techniques. Now he comes angle one, you do number two. Do you think a street fight is going to be like, I'm coming angle one? Okay. So you got to use the principles that we've been building on building points. And I'm not saying you want to reach for this, but it happens. Maybe it's a shiny knife and you fixated on a tunnel vision. People untrained have done this in a lot of my fights. That's why you have to drill from this. So I'm going to push, extend out, make sure I'm not getting pumped, so my hips can kind of come back. I'm going to drive in with my head, I can head butt, I'm going to push this back. If his hand's here, he might be strong, but if I take the hand back here, I can help walk him backwards as well. And then if he starts to come back in and pump this back in and drive back in, that's when I'll pass to my two-on-one. You okay? Yes, sir. See how fast it is? Because I felt the sensitivity, action reaction. He put his weight over his head, his head over his heels, and I let him fall into the pit of the spirit. Okay, like Toro, 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 like a bull. So from here, we can drive, head pressure, this is good wrestling, and I'm in position. My head's under his head. So my hips are back, so I'm not getting pumped. I don't bend the elbow, so I'm getting pumped. I keep this straight. I can head up and break that shoulder, and maybe that gives me some pain compliance past my two and one. Drive in, and he pushes back, you snap it down. Now watch this, so I extend it up. So maybe he grabs me, and try to pull me. Okay? So I'm yanking at the vector, because he's already been over, so he doesn't have a balance point, like a pyramid, above his head. And especially if I can do, I call that stirring the joint. So if I can stand up, so if I just pull him, see the difference? 
I stirred his joint. I literally moved his shoulder up and yanked it within the space. People don't like that. They move a lot more. So sometimes we'll be in here and then I'm gonna, like I don't want to bend and get pumped, but I'll move it a little bit and yank it to them. And if you're in the military, you step on with your boot. Sometimes that, the flexors, will take it out. Maybe I got my finger cut a little bit. I don't care about the I can, if I'm overseas, I can take care of business. If not, I watch out. What the hell? I might go to, I might take his back, or I might disengage. Call 911. Also, so first we're going to play down here on the wrist. Why? Because it happens. And when I drove this, I had at times it rebounded, and then the second time, and I didn't pass all the way, and then you go here. When you fixate it, and it's coming right here, and you go, oh my God, I'm in a knife fighter. That's pretty instinctual, so you have to drill from this point. Sometimes it may be that you come in on a step, 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 boom, and you catch his elbow, and then pass. So the same thing, it's a little better to be up here by the elbow, because you know, Transcend me and slice me up. I can feel where he's going. Okay, go, go. So even being up at the elbow, there, but I've seen enough footage instinctually people do go to the same level. Okay. So, drive in, think about headbutts, biting the shoulder, maybe a quick knee to the leg, the cranial nerve on the side, which are the balls, and then get them to drive back in or stir the joint and make them. You're trying to pancake them out towards the ground. Any questions? Ready, break! Good. 